The candidates for governor were clearly the headliners at tonight's dinner, each trying to tell the crowd what sets them apart from all the other candidates. Folks are, don't feel represented. The, the special interests and the tax collectors and the trough dwellers run this government. And it's time to restore integrity into this government and return this government to the taxpayer. We're going up, we're, we're strong. Just in the time I've been in office, we've created 18,000 new jobs and had $5 billion in uh, direct investment come into the state. If we keep taxes low, I wanna cut the taxes. I wanna pass that sanctuary city bill. I've never run before, that's why I call myself an outsider. I'm a mom, I'm a fighter, I can't be bought, and I've grown up all over the state. So it's not a matter of how do I touch the hearts and minds of the voter, I have a heart and mind of the people of South Carolina. My bio, being a Marine, being a businessman, being a true conservative outsider, that separates me from everyone in this field. So uh, it's really just a positive message, uh, showing them the vision that I have for the state, and we're very encouraged where we are in the campaign. A fifth candidate, Yancey McGill, did not attend the dinner. This was an opportunity for volunteers and voters to get more excited about the candidates and hopefully get a larger turnout on June the 12th. John Lyon, WIFF News 4, Spartanburg.